Welcome back, everybody, to another Welcome. Anderton's TV video. Another one. Another oh, one. Just another Crikey. one. It's like another uh, one, another so one, another one. So it seems like only one. yesterday that we did the last one. It um, seems like it was only like a couple of hours ago we did the last one. <laughs> so this is uh, another Tales from the Pedal Cabinet episode <laughs> where we just have a look in our pedal cabinet and think, well, we haven't done that or that or that or that. Yes. Um, so let's just plug them in and see what happens. Let's do it. So we've got four pedals for you today. Yeah. Um, a bit more. There's more, isn't there? Because, you know, four, two of them have got two in it. Well, that's and true. And the other one has got like 10 in it or nine in yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. And that one over there has got... There's so 63 there's pedals for 63 you 63 pedals. So we're going to start uh, with our friend, uh, the greatest name in amplification manufacturing, Mr. Chris Fantana. Yeah, you were thinking he would uh, be in... Uh, um, what's oh, the film should, with a... He should be in the... sort of... He should have had a band with Barry Manilow. No, he should... What's um, the film with, with Ron Burgundy and Chris Fantana, see? Uh, Anchorman. Anchorman. He should have been in that film. Of course he should. Anyway... This is the ER34. It's, ER it's the best name It's ever. an unusual pedal. Uh, it makes a, a sort of a bold but subtle claim in the uh, <laughs> in the blurb, basically saying if you plug this pedal into an amplifier that's not an EL34 powered amplifier, it will develop the characteristics of such amplifier. Mm -hmm. And if you plug it into an amp that is already EL34, it'll just give you more. more. <laughs> um, so Pete and I have got two amps plugged in. We have a clean sounding Victory DP40, which mm -hmm. sounds like this. Playing this rather so, cheap Telecaster. Fender. So think kind of American Fendery clean yeah. vibe with yep, that. Yep. Um, and then we've got a bad cat, uh, sorry, hot, hot cat. cat. Bad, bad cat, cat, hot, hot cat. cat. So think, you know, juiced up Marshall Vox yeah. type vibe. Mm. And we'll see what these pedals sound over all of them. Um, so the first thing that happens when I plug the EL34 on just the on side is not a lot. I'll be honest with you. No. It takes it from a sort of this sound. Let's just have a little reminder. It's a bit brighter and a bit sort of more... Marshally. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the idea, isn't it? It's it's going from that slightly warmer, bass-heavy, typical American Fender tone to perhaps something that's a little brighter, a little yeah. spikier, a bit yeah. more like a clean Marshall tone. Um, we can use this as a, a sort of a gain, a sort of a volume boost and a, and a tone pedal here a little bit. Absolutely. There's a massive difference. Turn it off. Massive. Yeah, massive big difference. tonal difference. Yeah. And then the fun happens, though, when we uh, add the Cabri's boost on the other side. always on pedal isn't it you know kind of isn't it well over that amplifier i'm not sure it's a very subtle pedal right yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a little bit of a boost uh, a little bit of brightness changes the characteristic of a bit into an amp that's already driven a little bit i suspect it'll have a slightly more significant <laughs> I think it's, it gives you, it's like having a second amp on it, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm just going to sort of say I think it does. It does what it claims yeah, to it do. Does, whether yeah. or not I'd want to buy a pedal that does that, I'm not so well, it's sure. Cheaper, it's cheaper than buying an amp. Well, it's a lot cheaper than buying an amp. Yeah, I mean that's, that's. Hang on, here we go. Yeah, I grant you, actually both on juiced a bit, it does give you a sort of a low gain Marshall Yen kind Absolutely. of rock, I like good that. rock tone. I like okay. it. It is that, that thing when you first turn it on, you're going, oh, hang on, but yeah. nothing really happening. And then... So that's the Rift Amplification EL34. I like it. There we are. Links below if you would like to purchase one or find yes. out more. Uh, now we're into the Bad Cat Double Drive. Yeah. Uh, and obviously we've got a Bad Cat going into another Bad Cat. Yes, that'll be interesting. It's a bad, bad um, cat. Yeah. Cat. Really bad cat. <laughs> Naughty uh, cat. Literally didn't use its litter tray and it pooed everywhere and <laughs> ripped your sofa to pieces. It's a double bad cat. Oh, um, and they, they, okay, so this is two drive, two identical drive circuits that you can okay. stack one into the other. Uh, so here's our clean ref tone, and here is a bad cat overdrive. Sort of um, stoop screamery, maybe. Sort of. It's got that mid, it's got mid big, big mid hump, but yeah, I wouldn't yeah, have said yeah. it's as bright as a tube. I think that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so the idea with this, obviously, is to give yourself a sort of a rhythmy kind of, or some sort of overdriven tone on on uh, pedal one, and then pedal two, uh, fatten it up, and you can do anything really. You could either pile more gain in, or you could uh, boost the output volume, whatever you want to do. It's really, really simple to use, very oh. intuitive. So if I go with, I guess, like a, a lowish gain on one, and then a higher gain on two, we'll see what happens. Triple bad cat now, here we go. Ba -ba 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 That's a, that's I like a good it. sounding drive pedal, yeah, that one. Good sounding drive pedal, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the bad cat. Yeah, 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 double yeah, yeah. drive. Double uh, drive. Double <laughs> le drive. Le is that drive. Harry Potter? Double. Uh, Harry Potter du double drive, is it? That was his headmaster, wasn't it? Dumb, double, double drive? Double door. door. Double door. <laughs> double door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. Uh, right. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> about this next one. Yes. So the Pantheon came out as a single uh, drive pedal, single button drive pedal uh, from Wampler two or three years ago. Yep. It's uh, Blues Breaker Territory. Another one of those sort of mythical pedals that Marshall used to make and now don't make and you pay a fortune for on eBay if you want an original one or you buy a clone. Yeah. Um, 
Except, of course, what they've done with the Pantheon here is kind of go down that... Uh, I'm pretty sure we saw something similar on the Andy Wood signature Wampler pedal, the gearbox. Yep. So gearbox. it's not... On, it, on the surface, it's a bit like the double cat. So you've got um, two pedals in one yeah. uh, with so an identical more. set of controls. So much more. Um, except, of course, what you can now do is you can set... Uh, on the sides of the pedals here, you've got uh, two, two or three, one, three different gain levels on each side for each pedal. Clipping and stuff. You've isn't got it? yeah, three different voicings on each side of each pedal. Uh, the ability to decide: do you want one into two or two into one as you're doing the stacking? Uh, and M1D1. Yeah, it's got M1D1. It's got M1D1. It. Yeah. So if you want to use this on a MIDI board... Um, and you can also take one pedal out at the time on the back there if you want to plug it into, say, a G3 or, or so another switching unit. I apologise for not mentioning that. Peter's absolutely Cause, right. Because that's really clever, because then you can actually have them on two different switches. In two well, you can loops. have them on two different switches, but yeah, you can have them in two yeah, different but loops. If you want it on yeah, the, I get, on the I back get it. of your No, rig. look, I get it. It's very, very clever. There's so a look, lot of stuff in there. Let's just yum, focus yum. on channel one for now, yeah. um, and we'll do the different voicings and the different stuff. So here is uh, staying with the DB40. Yeah. Yeah. I've always liked the Pantheon. I mean, you and Rob did a video on it up there, and, and I don't think Rob was so keen on it. my favourite uh, Marvel superhero. <laughs> Pantheon. Black Pantheon. <laughs> Black Pantheon. <laughs> um, no, I, do you know what? I remember Rob and I took a bit of heat when we did that one because um, stylistically, Rob played quite a sort of a contemporary... Uh, Wasn't he playing POS or? Drive, no, not oh, the guitar, the stylistically. Style, yeah. And probably, I know at the time, I think Tom Quayle had done another video where he'd absolutely played a, a style that suited the pedal more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great sounding, you know, classic It's a classic overdrive pedal. Uh, it sounds great. So you know. let's try, if I, if I go sort of halfway mm. on the game, we'll try some different voicings. Yeah. Um, quite subtle, but you can hear a different thing going Saturation. on in the mid range. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think kind of like uh, rock pedal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that I quite well didn't. I, I quite like the two extreme, like either the first one or the third one. I think yeah. the, the, the the middle one is a bit scoopy scoop. Scoop, uh, scoop, scoopy poop. But yeah. Let's... So the idea being, of course, you can have one side of this set with one voicing and gain yeah. level and the other side set with a different voicing and Two gain level so that one. you can mix and match. Uh, let's have a listen now to the different gain modes. <laughs> It's good, it's good. It's like I, I, it's got that rock, so you want to play those long. You know, there were like um, <laughs> back in back in the day, people used to say, "I just take one pedal with me, and then I turn up at the gig, and it doesn't matter what amplifier yeah. I just plug in." Yeah. That 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 would be a contender for my one pedal. Yeah. Just because it's a, it does it's all not, that different. It's stuff. not really one pedal, and B, it's like you know, you could literally plug into a very clean amplifier, set one side up as a rocky rhythm tone, the other side up as a lead tone, and just go. It's you know, we like, also could. I think what, 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 you what, what, might what? be able to plug it into two amps. 
because you can there's one there's one in for one side and one out for the other pedal. So you could potentially plug it into a Gainier amp or hot mm, amp and I then a cleaner need amp. That because I think if you go in to channel one and out channel one then it's not getting a signal into channel two. So even if you came out of channel two, there's nothing going into it. Well, hey, maybe, maybe Brian, Brian, if you're watching this video. comment below. Okay, so we're gonna dive onto channel two now. Channel two is uh, voiced very slightly differently to channel one. Okay. So if I didn't mention before, channel one is Blues Breaker territory, the original Blues Breaker, channel two is uh, Pantheon territory, which obviously was a copy of the Blues Breaker, but it's, it's ah, got its own okay. vibe. Right, 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 so right, they right. are slightly different on each, each side, and obviously then it's up to you to decide, do you want Pantheon into Blues Breaker, or Blues Breaker into Pantheon, or, or do you just want to oh, use the two completely like separately? So let's have a little listen to the uh, <laughs> same kind of idea. We'll go through the different voicings and gain settings and stuff. In fact, what we will do first wow. of all is just let's quickly compare them with the knobs sort of set about the same. Yeah. How are they different? So here's. Channel one is more clear. Yeah, channel two's me. got uh, like the top end rolled off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, more, yeah, exactly. Good so, sounding pedal up. Yeah, really good. So let's just quickly hear the voicings of channel two. This is now the gain levels of okay. channel two. For me personally, I think I would set up channel two as my kind of basic rock tone without too much of the brightness there. And I yeah. would use channel one as my sort of into so, it. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah. But again, that's up to you. So let's get that kind of as a, as it's a good. Good pedal. You know what I was smashed when, it. Do you remember when we did the bell, the yes. little green one? I really liked that mm. as well. I thought that was really. There's a couple of great pedals coming up from Wumpler there. Yeah, there's some good pedals coming up at the moment. Just the generally, bell really. Yeah, just the, generally. But that's that's that is good. Yeah. Uh, and again, I I do think anybody using you know G3 or you know one of the the, the uh, what's the Boss one, Boss the ES8 ES or whatever. ES8, you know the fact ES5. that you can have either side independently looped into That's your um, switcher and have MIDI as well. So is MIDI would like, probably set, would that set the... MIDI, I mean, I'm not sure, no, if MIDI, that would, MIDI, I was reading what the, what the options setting, are. No, well, you don't, you have five, six options on here. So you've got, uh, you can switch channel one on and off via MIDI, you can have channel two on and off via MIDI, or you can set it to do both on at the same time or one on without the other or anyway. Wax on, wax off. MIDI. Uh, one day I'll understand it. Yeah. Um, so that is the Pantheon. Good pedal. Really like that pedal. Again, yeah. links below if you want to find out about that. How much is the Pantheon? Double, I'm not sure. Uh, what's it called? Dual overdrive. 249 or something? Oh, I bet it's more than that. I think just the original Pantheon's about 200 pounds. Right. It's a race. Uh, oh, no, you're not. Okay, so you're not too wrong. 269 for that one, 179 ah. for the single one. Did I'm not entirely sure whether or not the Pantheon will do its thing into an already driven amplifier, but you never know. Maybe if I just really back down the gainy settings, it might. So. That, that was too much, wasn't it?
Yeah, that's cool, man. It does a thing. It does a thing. I think I liked it more into the clean amp, but it yeah, does yeah. a yeah. thing. It does a thing. Very thing. good pedal. Anyway. Let's go on to the... Um, let's, get a rat, let's get your rat out, Lee. Yeah, let's go on to the um, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> signature JHS pedal. Uh, the Not the rat pack, the, the pack rat. rat. Oh, uh, I, I, do you know, I think there was... <laughs> there was a JHS rat pack, which is what they called the... When he used to buy original Proco rats and mod them. Oh yeah, so, the the, so ones, this is yeah. this is a, is this a, is a, um, a rat mod, mod. So th this is if you remember uh, pedals like the Muffaletta or the Bonsai. Yes, it's the same basic concept, but for all of your favourite ratty tones. Uh, That's a great and, the, idea. and the rat, I, I really, really, I've got to say, for myself as a guitar player, I ignored the rat. I just, I don't know why because I just must have tried a bad one or on a bad setting or with a bad amp or whatever. Yeah. Like years ago and just gone, I don't really like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, just, you have to get yeah. into it. Yeah, and funny enough, I've got to credit Dan Steinhardt with saying you should try the Rat again because it's like his favorite drive pedal. If you want to watch our Rat shoot out, you can go up there and while you're up there or down here, like and subscribe. Yeah. We forget to ask um, people. And Rats Please. are cool. The original Proco Rat, well, I say original, the current Proco Rat is really affordable is in the ballpark of a good rat tone, uh, but doesn't use the original sort of... Um, components. Uh, is it LM308 sort of... Uh, Probably. The, the, the component the that component, gave the yeah, drive yeah, yeah, yeah. sound in the original rat. There are pedals that do use that, the JHS, uh, not JHS, sorry, the Jam Rattler. Yeah, which is the one that, uh, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, really it does one. use that original <laughs> circuitry. <laughs> but as I said, the original Proco rat, um, as in the, the current, I keep calling it the original, the current Proco rat, is not expensive, it's about 70 quid. Yeah. Super popular, good sounding pedal. Yeah. Um, howdy who, right, I have got somewhere on my telephone, uh, telephone a list telephone. of what the, uh, oh, maybe not there, hold on a minute. Here we go, a list of what all the different ratty modes are. And we're just gonna quickly swizz through this because obviously I'm conscious we don't wanna be here It's a shaved day. rat, it's a wet rat, it's a, it's a dirty, rat. dirty rat, it's a hungry uh, rat. It's a rolling rat. Right, okay, so anyway, the first one is the OG. So OG is basically, in uh, JHS's opinion, a perfect recreation of the first production rats ever made. This is 1979 to 1983. <laughs> That's so great, isn't it? The, I almost swore all, all the rap pedals have got this idea of volume and tone, obviously, but then this filter. So let me just, and that's like a swept tone control, swept, almost like wind doing swept. something weird. Yeah, windswept, <laughs> like a parametric EQE kind of. Hundred percent goes. It, it it sits across that um, distortion and fuzz territory, and that's what I think makes the rat such a unique circuit. It's 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 a brilliant combination of kind of both those effects yeah, yeah. in one. It's great. Right, man. let's quickly whiz through. I don't know. I mean, I, I think we're going to get the best <clears throat> out of the rat in through the clean, clean amplifier. Yeah. But let's have a quick. <laughs> Take it back. Yeah. Uh, that's like good you just well. use. You know what? Just get the rats out. Let's get uh, your rat right. out. Right. Okay. Let's try it. We'll we'll stay with the, the clean amp for the the rest of this demo, I think. But um, get that noisy rat. So, uh, 1984 to 1985, we've got the white face version three. 
Okay. Because uh, it says here in 1984, the rat transitioned into a smaller square enclosure with a new white rectangle logo. And then it says lots of other things as well, which you'll have to go to the JHS website to read. <laughs> uh, let's try it. And the, the filter goes back to front. That's the original. Okay. So, yeah. And then the white goes. It's got that. It's a bit, the white is a little bit brighter and a smidgen more gain, yeah, in my okay. opinion. Yeah, Maybe yeah, that's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 Version yeah, yeah. 3, Turbo V5. Um, Turbo V5. 1989, the heart of the rat's tone comes from a design technique called symmetrical hard clipping. It's like my haircut. Um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Let's have a listen. Hey, holy, it's a bit louder that one. Ah, Oswell awesome. liked this next one. So number four great, is called man. The Brat. Now in 1997, Brat. Uh, Proco got into the budget pedal game by releasing The Brat um, and the Guitar Center exclusive version of it, The Roadkill. Um, <laughs> uh, and these two identical circuits, um, the but with kill. different aesthetics, uh, apparently were, were, were a real kind of grunge favorite sound. Okay. So let's have a little lesson. It sounds great, man. I must admit, it's a genius, genius concept yeah. by Josh to do, you know, if you, honestly and truthfully, if, you're, if you want to go down that Tube Screamer rabbit hole or you want to go down the Big Muff rabbit hole or whatever yeah. like that, and now, yeah. of course, with the Rat one, such a great way of doing Just buy it. The, it's 36 um, pedals in one, if yeah, you buy I mean, all three of them or something. It's quite, I mean, it's not a cheap format to do that. You know, these are all around about the 250 mark, whatever. Oh, they, okay. I, I, I still think it's a killer, killer Yeah, yeah, killer idea. idea. Killer anyway, idea. right, so number five is a Dirty Rat, uh, made famous, of course, by Clint Eastwood. Um, no, was it? No, that wasn't Clint Eastwood. No, it was, dirt. oh, no, who was it? No, I'm thinking of Dirty rat. Harry. Dirty Rat was uh, old black and white film, James, who said you, di you dirty rat? You dirty rat? I'm gonna have James to look Dean. it up now. Two very boring minutes later. James Cagney. I knew it was James a James Cagney. something. James Cagney. And apparently the first thing that comes up never actually said, you dirty rat. Um, so it wasn't him then? That's a bit weird, isn't it? He's misquoted. He's, what he actually says is... You beautiful uh, flower. Line. He says, you dirty rat, <laughs> when he is yelling at his wife for lying to him about giving his $100 away. So he does say, you dirty rat. I'm conf completely confused. You know what? Whatever. Right, uh, apologies, I'm back in the room now with... What is you a dirty rat? Dirty rat, 2002, Proco released the two-in-one rat pedal. Oh. Called the Juice Tone. Juice as in... Juice as in an ace, as in not juice. juice as in squeezed orange Oh, juice. as in an ace, juice. As D in a D -U -C -E. ah. D-U-C-E. So this completely allowed you... Oh, this allowed you, sorry, to have two completely juice. separate rats and activate them independently or stack them together. 
blah 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 It's not a good listen. word to say with a Danish accent, is it? <laughs> wow. I want to play those big chords. Incredible amount of tones in there. Yeah. Just from doing one. But they're all. But what? yeah. But they're all in that. They're all in that fuzzy, dirty, sludgy. Yes, but they're all different, though. Yeah, no, they are. Right. So now. We are going into the LA area. 1986. Oh, good times. The year I was born. Um, apparently, this is uh, based on an Ibanez, uh, clo uh, an Ibanez clone of a, a rat called the... the uh, Radimus. Radimus. Apparently, they, apparently, they introduced three rat-style rat. pedals. The <laughs> Super Product and the Fat Cat held the position of accurate traditional rat style pedals while the quirkier LA metal was in my opinion in Josh's opinion uh, one of the best modified rat circuits of the 80s oh, so the this, is, this is this That's is the right. LA metal do you remember that yeah but that was like I a plastic the plastic cover like the STS10 you remember that plastic pedal it was in do you remember that no i can't the TS10, say the TS10 you remember the TS10 oh yeah yeah, yeah i remember the TS10 i think the metal the, the that, that was in the same enclosure ah. but a black one right yeah. here we go <laughs> Can you play some LA metal, please? I don't know what LA metal is. Or it's like uh, poison or. Uh, I don't think I know. Every, every, every rose has a thorn. No, no, that's a, that's no. a no. I need a, like long hair and like a Crikey, some, some what are really we going tight in, pants now, on. Now we're going into Landgraf Emode from 1999. So apparently between 1999, great uh, sci-fi series on the telly, I think, uh, and 2000, a man named John Landgraf started building pedals in Pensacola, Florida. Ever been there? Been no, I've not Pensacola. Uh, each film, one uh, painted with a unique swirl job. Blah 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 blah. I love the swirl job, uh, mate. Don't really know where. Uh, ah, his no, most popular pedal famous. was a Landgraf Dynamic Overdrive, which was a take on the Tube Screamer. Oh, I see. But my favourite, Josh's favourite, uh, was his distortion pedal that he called the Mood, which was a distant cousin of the Rat. Oh, so a mouse like the Badger. <laughs> yes. Badger. Um, yeah, right. Not the mouse, what I'm So, F Fat numero man. eight is <laughs> no, uh, there's more. yes is the the Caroline. Well uh, according to this, a few years after starting JHS, I uh, really got into the Neil Diamond song "Sweet Caroline." <laughs> uh, oh no, sorry, that's different. Um, Sweet Caroline. The, yeah, this is uh, this is Caroline pedals we stock. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've Car I can't yeah. remember specifically which ones we've demoed, probably all of them at some point or other. Can't but remember. I always remember them being slightly quirky, interesting yeah. sounding pedals. Anyhow, uh, apparently the chap that um, 
the chief designer at Caroline is a big rat fan and I see. So this is called the Wave Cannon or the, the Caroline. Oh, Wave Cannon. Yeah, yeah, the Wave, wave Cannon. cannon. Yeah. Um, That's a great pedal. And basically this is, this is the sort of the, the Josh's version of the Wave Cannon in the pack rack. <laughs> I love that. It's that very pedal good. That is going on my board. Uh, and then finally, finally, you oh, remember another one. <laughs> right at the beginning of this uh, little trip down Rat Road, I said that um, the London. original JHS uh, Rat Pack was in fact a modded yes. rat, an original yes. modded rat. That's what the last one is. So the ah. last one is Josh's uh, modded rat circuit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like this. a squelch. That's, well, a, that's a cool pedal, man. Yeah. That's a cool pedal. It's literally, that's it. We've had, there's more rats in there than the film Ratatouille. Um, so... I watched that the other day. It's, I haven't watched it for ages. Not been, all of a sudden. Uh, there's a very cool ride in Disneyland Paris called Ratatouille. I haven't been to uh, Disneyland. No, I haven't. Got nothing to do with rat pedals or guitars, no, but it's funny. But Pete, uh, yes. you're allowed one of these pedals to put on your board. Which one would oh, it be? Oh, uh, that's, uh, I mean... I would probably go rat. Right. Pack Interesting. Rat. Yeah. I mean, Interesting. because I don't have anything like that on my board, I've got like clean or not clean, you know, like boost and sort of less, a little mm. bit drive, but I don't have anything ratty at the mm. moment. And that is, that's, ratty. it's just, it Scratty. just gives you a different way of playing, you know. Mm. But they're all good pedals, all good pedals. Well, but I, I might go, I think I, I, like one. I, like, I like the Pantheon, I think. Pantheon is good too. Pantheon. Yeah, but hey. I can get that from mixing a couple of pedals on my this board. This is true. You know? This is true. That's where the, uh, well, hey. What do you want? That's the most important thing. And once you've decided, click below, and add to cart. Buy one. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas right. to you. And if it's in January or X, just marry anything. Just marry anything. Yeah. Absolutely. Go eat some Marry turkey. anyone. Bye-bye.